Hi, Chris Thomas from Martin Guitar here, standing out in front of Chicago's famed Riviera Club, where in just a few minutes, hometown boys Wilco will be taking the stage. Now, earlier today, we paid a visit to The Loft, Wilco's private recording studio and rehearsal space, where I had a chance to ask frontman and songwriter Jeff Tweedy a few questions about his music and Martin Guitars. <laughs> I won't get up and I won't go to sleep I'm coming home, I'm coming home via Chicago I, I got a guitar when I was six I think, and I took a few lessons and I really hated it because it was in a steaming hot room upstairs above a department store in downtown Belleville. And uh, so I threw my guitar in the closet, but that didn't stop me from telling everyone in the world that I knew how to play the guitar. So uh, I had an accident, a bicycle accident when I was like 12. I was, I was laid up for a mm -hmm. summer and I figured, I looked in my closet and I saw there was a guitar in there. And I figured, oh, I'm ever, maybe I should learn a few chords before someone calls me out on this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's about, uh, I guess about 12 years, that'd be a shorter answer since mm -hmm. I was 12 years old. Okay. Do you recall your first Martin? Yeah, I, I do. Um, I bought the first Martin that I ever had was uh, this little 018. And um, we were getting ready to make uh, Mermaid Avenue, the Mermaid Avenue record, uh, the first one. And uh, I think I'd just been to the archives um, to look at Woody Guthrie's lyrics. It's about Mermaid Avenue records, for people that don't know, is a record we did with Billy Bragg, a series of records where we took Woody Guthrie lyrics and put them to music. And I really didn't have any instruments from uh, the 30s, or from the time period, or, or earlier even. You know, anything that I felt like, I mean, I know Woody lived into the 60s, but for some reason I just felt like I wanted to have something that he could have possibly had in his hands when he was really thriving. Is there anything unique that sticks in your mind about making The Whole Love compared to other albums? Um, well, The Whole Love is the first record that we were able to uh, complete. And, you know, every step of the, the process was, was up here at the loft, including mixing. Everything else is... Every other record has had a few little excursions into uh, another studio or a, a mixing studio. And, and um, outside of mastering, which you never really do in your own studio, uh, we, were, we did it all up here and, and, and it, that feels really good. It feels good to finally um, have crossed that threshold where we know we can kind of get it all done in one spot. Now, regarding the forthcoming Jeff Tweedy Custom Artist Edition from Martin mm -hmm. Guitar, um, it boasts some very unique vintage features like a sunburst mahogany top mm -hmm. and Foden uh, style inlay. Was there a particular guitar that inspired some of those choices or a combination of, of different guitars? I think this guy probably had, had uh, as far as aesthetics, mm -hmm. had the most impact on, on what we tried to do with the guitar. Mm -hmm. um, I always have always felt like this is a really romantic looking instrument <laughs> mm -hmm. and kind of uncharacteristic of a lot of Martins that you see. It will be the first fully FSC uh, certified guitar, eco friendly guitar that we've done with an artist. Um, how do you feel about that? Oh, I'm I'm thrilled. I, I um, I'm I'm surprised that that's the case. Uh, um, but um, I'm honored that, that, that my name will be on it and that, that you know, we can work together to make that happen. And, and uh, I'd be remiss without mentioning our, our friend Woody, <laughs> who is probably has, a, has a, a lot more to do with the, the decisions that have gone into the, those specifics of the guitar. You know, 
did a really great job, and yeah, I'm proud to, to uh, take the credit. Thank you.